it was quite windy. I can see the sea from where I live and you could see white on top of the waves. Even the hedge around our garden was blowing around. I'm Julian Crawford and I'm 75 years old and I live in Sea Houses, Northumberland. We were the only sailing dinghy out that day and uh, we set off. It quickly became apparent that the wind was quite challenging. In no time we were about a mile away from where we'd set off out in the sea and tried to go about. The wind just took us completely over. We had a complete capsize. Couldn't pull myself up, I just could not pull myself up. In no time I was separated from the boat and fairly quickly, about a hundred yards away, um, panicking. I knew we were in real peril then. Fortunately, I had my VHF marine radio attached to my back and was able to call the Coast Guard. But during that call, the Seahouses lifeboat station, they heard the call. And so before the Coast Guard even called them, they had set about launching the lifeboat. The Coast Guard called a fishing vessel, which was in the vicinity, and came and pulled me out of the water. When they got me into the all-weather lifeboat, I was in a very advanced state of hypothermia. They were so careful to make sure I was okay. They did their utmost and by the time they got us back to sea houses, the ambulance was just arriving. The rescue services, I just take my hat off to them. I owe them so much. If you've got no means to summon help and you haven't got a life jacket, it would just be madness to me. I have been out on the water since the incident. To be out on a suitable sea on a nice sunny day is a wonderful experience and we are blessed up here in Northumberland. The sea bird population are amazing. Uh, and unless you're out on a boat, uh, you're not going to see some of those things. When you're on the water, it's lovely. But if you're in the water, it's a different thing altogether. The most serious and life-threatening shouts we respond to are man overboard incidents. Our number one tip for staying safe on the water is to always wear an appropriate, well-maintained and well-fitted life jacket. Along with this, always carry a means of calling for help and keep it on your person. Best thing to do is straight away call for help. In general, incidents are much more likely to occur as a result of fatigue. So take extra care when you're tired. As a sailing and powerboat instructor, safety is always the number one priority. If people feel safe, they're gonna enjoy their time out on the water much more.